What's poppin', sexies? It's your boy here, and we are back. We got some more Fey content, some more delicious Fire Emblem Heroes stuff for you today. So what we're going to do today is we're going to go ahead and do a tier list for all of the Resplendent Hero artwork. We have quite a lot to take a look at. We are actually going to look at every single one individually, and we're going to go ahead and just plop them down here on this tier list right there. So without further ado, this is going to be a long one, so buckle up, guys. I hope you're down for this type of content. So we're going to start things off with Resplendent Lin's artwork, so let's check it out. Okay, so Lin was the first Resplendent hero, and they did a pretty good job here. Actually, it's a, a definite glow-up from her original art that we had. And, of course, in classic Lin fashion, they had to increase the booba size, right? So, like, we look here, it's more prominent on this injured artwork than on the other two. So, it's more so because of the shading, you can see, like, more <laughs> definition and volume there on the chest area. But that's what we come to expect from Lin, and that's also <laughs> what we like about Lin. I'm going to go ahead and toss that in good tier. I'm going to reserve, like, awesome and gods here for some choice selections, but from now on, we're just going to go for good for Lin. Okay, let's go ahead and take a look at Cordelia up next. All right, so Cordelia's was also a glow-up, as we can see from her OG portrait there. Her face was, like, kind of boring-looking, kind of bland in the original. Yeah, but I, I do remember this one was really nice. This was actually the one that made me get my first Fey Pass, was because of this art. Because I did have a plus 10 Cordelia, and... I did prefer this artwork look for her over the original. So, pretty nice stuff there. It's definitely good. We're going to put her in the same tier as Lynn there. All right, next up we have Ike. <laughs> this resplendent Ike has been my icon for a lot of content. So, th this one's definitely good. It's better than the original art, I would say. And also, just like, the detailing on this one is out of control. It's really fantastic. The artist did an amazing job here. I love the attacking poses on him. The special attack with the glowing Ragnall there is awesome too. And then the injured art, no exception whatsoever. You got the torn up pants there, so you get some <laughs> leg detail if you're into that sort of thing. Ragnall looks really awesome there too, so I'm actually going to toss that into the awesome tier. I, hopefully I'm not showing some bias there, but I mean, th this really does seem like the first cut above the rest. All right, we got Sophia up next. Sophia is also a pretty huge, a massive glow up, actually, from her original art, which was really bad. <laughs> so now they fixed her giraffe neck. They, they made her look really nice, too. So the Embla attire really suits for Sophia. A very nice special attack artwork as well. So it is nice to see some good artwork from Sophia. I don't know why she has so many alts, though, in Fey. It's, like, kind of weird. <laughs> like, Sophia was kind of a nobody in FE6, but okay. All right, then we got Azura coming in next. So Azura, of course, I like it. I actually really like the outfit they went with. Azura's OG art was one of the few, like, day one arts that I thought was actually really good. So it, it, this one is more of, like, a side grade. If you prefer this outfit over the original, then maybe you'd like this one more. There are some also nice details here, as we can see, like, her hair. She's got, like, some stuff going on. She's got the, um, what do they call this again? Like, a veil in her hair. Which is pretty nice. My only issue, though, is her hands. Her hands are very tiny. Not so much here, but in, like, the base art. Her hands are very, very small. So, like, that that's the one thing I didn't like about this art. But I think everything else is pretty nice about it. Very nice special attack effect there. And also the injured artwork there. So, I think we can put her in the good tier. Let's go ahead and go for that. Okay, we have Elliewood up next. Elliewood was awesome. Man, when this guy got his Resplendent ult, we were all just awestruck. Because at the time, he was like the best three-star demo in the game. After he got the... He just stole Brave Roy's refine. So th this was very nice. A very needed glow-up for him. And of course, his OG art was kind of sucky. And then this this is awesome. Yeah, th this is probably going in awesome tier. They did a fantastic job there with our boy Elliewood. Marcus Ferre is going to be joining Ike there. All right, we have Hector up next. <laughs> I love that. They go from Heli Elliewood right into Hector. So lots of FE7 love. All right, here is the neutral artwork. His hand is, like, kind of weird. Like, the way he's posing his hand. I, I don't know. Like, would you ever hold your hand out like that? <laughs> Just, like, standing there normally? I don't know. But the details on the cape are literally fire because we have the moose spell art here. 
This is a really nice pose here for the attacking artwork. And then this is the one that I really like, the special attack art. The fire just really pops out of his axe. And then we got the injured art there, which is also pretty good. I think I'm going to toss this in the awesome tier, despite him having like the sort of jazz hand on the neutral art. All right, we got Sanaki up next. Shout out to Giratina Light, <laughs> one of my favorite commenters. Giratina just always posts like the most uplifting comments. <laughs> it's very heartwarming. So we have Sanaki here, a much needed glow up. They fixed the five head that she had from the OG art. <laughs> now, Sanaki is a character that I can understand why she's got a five head. <laughs> she has a very big brain, right? She needs that extra head space to contain all that intelligence. All right, but this is the one that I love. This special attack art, this is so awesome with the magic seal on the bottom. And then we have the injured artwork there. So we're, we're going to toss that actually in the awesome tier. I really like Sanaki's Resplendent. All right, we got regular Roy up next. So this dude is rocking the Niffle attire here. Not really what I would have expected from Roy. I didn't think he would have Niffle. I thought he was going to have like Asker probably, but... I mean, it actually does kind of work. I like the pop of the icy blue with his really red hair. It's a very nice contrast there, and it's very detailed, too. Very nice artwork. Very subtle special attack, just some fire coming out, but it, it is pretty nice. I actually really like this. Yeah, I think we can toss that in awesome tier, actually. Yeah, it's, it's simple, but it's really effective. So we'll put that there. All right, we have Lindy up next. So Lindy, okay, so... Lindy is another character where I thought her day one art was pretty good too. But I, this might be a little better. Their, her face is definitely a little better on this one. But I like the outfit. I like Lindy's original outfit a little bit more than the Asker attire they went with here. So that, that might give me a little more bias to the original art. All right, here is the attacking pose. Here is the special attack pose. It's very subtle. And then finally, we got the injured pose. This is probably the best one, actually. This is the cutest one, I think, out of all the rest. Where would we put Lindy? I, like, I want to say she's in good tier, but she's, like, kind of... I, I might have her in eh, actually, because I, I am kind of jaded. I do prefer the original artwork a little bit more. Not, not by a lot, but just by a little. All right, we got Minerva up next. Let's take a look at Minerva. Okay, so Minerva, we got... Huh. What is this, Moose Spell attire, right? I, yeah, this is Moose Spell's attire, okay. Her hair looks a little off. Like, this is what Minerva's hair should look like, but then I think the outfit looks a little bit better than in the original, but the poses are kind of off on this one, too. Like, if only they had gotten some better pose shots, I think I would have liked this a little more. Like, this is just a really awkward pose that she's in there. It's showing off more of the weapon than the outfit, like, you know? So, I, I don't know. I'm not, like, the biggest fan. And then here, too. Why is she so far away? She's, like, so out of frame. <laughs> She's, like, all the way in the back there. And then, like, all the focus is on... It's, like, a in reverse shot. Like, her head is all the way in the back. And then her lower body is all the way in the front. Kind of weird. Yeah, just, it's good. It's just, like, the poses are kind of not really what I was thinking. So, I, I'm going to put that in eh, <laughs> unfortunately. For Minerva fans. Okay, we have Robin up next. <laughs> okay, so people were actually a little mad about his neck. Because they kind of messed up his neck a little. It's not really that his neck is long. It's just that the outfit he's wearing. This is the first Hell attire. And it, the collar is just really high on his shirt. Or like on his his like neck sleeve or whatever. His turtleneck. I don't know what you would call this. <laughs> so it makes his neck look really long. But... Other than that, this is really nice. I also like the glow on the body on the Hell Attire. A lot of the Hell Attire have, like, a glow somewhere. And it looks really good. It's a nice effect. Yeah, so th this is definitely better than the OG art. The OG one was kind of generic. So I'm, I'm going to toss that in good tier. Okay, we got the Booty Queen up next. Oh, man. Olwen with the cake. <laughs> Judy with the big booty. Yeah, th I love this artwork. I mean, there's no <laughs> real assumptions as to why that is but yeah th this was a really good one i love this i love this artwork so much the attacking art is really awesome too yeah i like the checker book style the checkerboard style on her book as well <laughs> like dire thunder is like in checkmate you're in checkmate when you use dire thunder <laughs> so yeah th that's very awesome also the color scheme for asker is a really nice choice for her 
So we're going to toss her in awesome tier, actually. <laughs> Olwen with the cake right there. Okay, so we have Erica up next. J-pop waifu Erica. This is good. Like, it suits Erica. It's more... Her base armor, I, I'm actually not the biggest fan of. It's kind of just like generic princess armor. And then this, while it's like generic fairy girl attire, it's still a, a better change of pace for Erica, I would say. This really suits her. I can imagine Erica literally being a J-pop waifu. Like, she's got that kind of energy. She's like Emoto energy, like little sister. Yeah, Ephron would be going ham if he was in a concert and he saw baby sis, like, going nuts on stage. So, yeah, it, it's pretty good. It suits Erica really well. It's not really my cup of tea, but I, I can't deny that it's a very good fit for her. So, I'm probably going to put this in awesome tier just because of the... Like, the style, it's a very good choice. Okay, we have Alm up next. Let's take a look at Alm here. Okay, so Alm is definitely better than the OG art. This is definitely a glow-up for him. But his face, like, they gave him the baby face on the neutral art. <laughs> that, that's the one problem I have with this. Otherwise, it's very good. The outfit is really nice. Embla attire is a pretty good pick for Alm. This is a really nice one here. The attacking art and then the special attack with the fire coming out of Falchion. Really, really nice to pop. Really nice effect there. And then the injured artwork as well. So it's good out... Like, this one baby face on the neutral art is the one downside. But otherwise, it's fantastic. So, where do we put that? Do we put this in awesome tier or do we put this in good tier? Man, that baby face really just holds it back a little. I, I'm going to put it in awesome tier outside of that one problem. Okay, we got Julia up next. I actually really remember loving the hell out of this one. This one is awesome. So here she is, Cutie Pie Julia, just doing a little curtsy there. It's so cute. For, like, absolutely no reason. Then we have the attacking artwork. Really nice pose. I love the amount of detail that went into her clothes as well. Like, there's just so much shading, so so many ripples. It's just insane. Like To draw this by hand, I would have gotten, like, carpal tunnel doing this myself. So, yeah, shout-outs impressively to the artist for this. And this is where it just... Ex escalates all the way up to awesome tier, or even god tier for me. Having the, like, the dragon head coming out, if you guys have ever watched Yu Yu Hakusho, Hiei has this attack called the Dragon of the Darkness Flame. <laughs> this was the first thing that popped into my mind. Or, like, Zeno Zoldic from Hunter x Hunter doing the dragon head. Like, Togashi loves just having dragon heads pop out. <laughs> Shoutouts to anime there. And then this, she looks like she is actually traumatized in this injured artwork she is so petrified it's like the meme where johnny is coming through with the axe and he's like breaking through the door yeah so okay it's just amazing god's here for me we're putting her all the way at the top okay we have takumi up next let's take a look at takumi oh my god homeboy with the drip look at that <laughs> i actually completely forgot about this i forgot how good his outfit looked yeah, that is crazy. The hell attire with the samurai style. Wow, that is really good. And I like bows. Anytime I play a video game where bows are an option for a weapon, I always like to main bows. Like in Monster Hunter, I'm a bow main. So like because of Ben K, the old samurai with the bows. Like th this is Ben K energy right here. This is awesome sauce. Very good. Yeah, and even the injured art. Wow, really nice pose there with the hand covering the face. Ooh. Yeah, Takumi got that drip. We got we got to put him in gods here, actually. Yeah, that's crazy. Okay, who's next? Kata? All right, Shida, Sita, Kata, whatever you want to call her. Okay, so it's just like a cutie pie princess art. She's doing a curtsy as well, but not as cute as Julia's curtsy. <laughs> R.I.P. All right, here's the attack. I like the effect on her blade, actually. The, the way that her blade has been um, detailed here, it looks kind of icy even. Which is nice because she has the nipple attire, I believe. Yeah, we have the ice effect. Yeah, this is really nice. The ice effect on the attacking art, the special one. And then the injured artwork there. It's like, oh no, don't hit me. Yeah, that, that's like some oh, whoa, ooh, ooh energy right there. All right, where do we put Kata? It's pretty good. I'll, I'll put it in good. Didn't like really stand out to me like some of the other ones. But it's still not bad. Alright, we got Marth up next, so let's take a look at Marth. 
Okay, we have the classic uh, Asker attire makes the most sense for him. He's like the most bland, generic lord ever. He's just literally the first lord. So here we go with him. The, the color pop is nice though with the red, white, and blue. A <laughs> man is straight out of America with that. All right, here's the attacking artwork there. Then the special attack art. I like the flash coming out of his sword there. Pretty nice effect. And finally, the injured art. It's, it's a little eh, actually. Outside of the color scheme, I like this one, the neutral art. But the rest of them are kind of a little generic. Yeah, they, they, they didn't fix Marth's genericness, unfortunately. But let's see. Where, where do we put it? I might put him in eh, actually. Yeah, it's a little too bland for me. I, I would have liked... Maybe just some better poses would have helped out. Because I, I do actually think the outfit was a nice choice. And the colors were a really good choice. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Here we go. Okay, this is... This might be the first glow down that we've seen out of all of them. The OG Lucina art is just better. This is very detailed. Is The butterfly motif is something that we've seen with Lucina quite a lot. So I'm not going to say too much about that, but... Literally, she's a baby. <laughs> like, why? Why is she a baby? This is Luti Lucina pre-time skip, right? Like, this is Lucina after chapter 10. Like, before all the children start coming through the Dragon Gate, and then you start, like, going into the future and stuff like that. This is literally just baby Lucina who just got born. Nice pop, though. The color pop, I will at least admit the color pop is pretty good here. That's about all the good I can say about it. Like, the shine on the Exalt's eye is really nice. But I I, I can't, like, give much credit to this, honestly. It, it, the detail is good. The colors are good. But, like, just why is she a baby? I, I have to put that in bad. Now, people were going nuts on Twitter, by the way. They were trying to get the artist canceled. I, I wasn't about to go that far. I think that's just, like, super petty. It's just a guy drawing a picture. But... All right, let's go ahead and move on to Niles up next. So Niles is pretty good. We got the Moose Spell attire again. The cape with the fire effect looks really good there. All right, here's the attacking artwork. Also pretty good. Oh, that's a nice pop there with the fire coming out of the arrow. In like a, a layered effect there. Pretty nice. And nice injured art too. Pretty nice pose there. Where are we putting Niles? Let's see here. I might put him a little above good. I might put him in awesome tier. That's pretty good. Niles had some pretty nice stuff going there. Okay, we have Delthea up next. I don't like Delthea whatsoever. Not a fan of this character, but her artwork is pretty good. They do the fairy attire a lot now. I, I feel like the fairy attire is probably the most overdone. But at least for this character, it does suit, I think. <laughs> She's literally just a little girl, so... If ever someone was going to wear fairy wings, it would probably be her. Alright, here's the attack art. I, I do like the face she's making there a little. Yeah, it's okay. It's not bad. We'll put her in, in good tier. Okay. Oh, we got the Drip Lord. Held again up next. Oh my god, this one is phenomenal. Suzuki Rika is a goddess for this. Look at this. Y'all already know I love Castlevania. We probably have some Castlevania music bumping in the background for this one. Yeah, look, I can't put this anywhere but God's here. Look at this. This is probably the single best artwork in the entire game still, I want to say. And the attacking pose, oh my God, bro. The, this is too good. It's just too good. Then the special attack art, and then finally the injured art. The, cape, the effect on the cape is so good. The color scheme is... Just A1. This is, like, as good as it gets. This is absolute pinnacle of Fey artwork. All right, we follow that up with Tiki now. So Tiki is another one that I feel like is a glow down. I actually prefer the original artwork a little bit more for this one, mainly because of her head size. <laughs> I call this one Big Head Tiki because they made her head a little bit too big. Yeah, like, her head is not proportioned right, I don't think. Otherwise, it's not bad. Like, the artwork itself is okay, I guess. Like, the Embla attire is fine for her, but... I I just like the OG art a little bit more. She looks more cute. She's more happy. She's more bubbly. <laughs> Whereas here, just... I, I can never get over that big head of hers. So, I'm, I'm gonna put that in Et tier. I don't think I would say it's bad. It's just like, eh. <laughs> Baby Lucina might be the only thing in bad tier, honestly. But we'll keep going. 
All right, we got Brave Ike up next. Now, this guy was... Could you believe our reactions when we got this guy as a resplendent alt when he was still probably the best unit in the game at the time? So, like, th this was a crazy one to get as a plus two to all stats unit. Now, the OG art, I still want to say, might be better. The Kita Senri art was so good where he's wearing Grail's clothes. That was, like, that was peak. They, they can't do a better looking Ike than that, I don't think. But as far as, like, the outfit goes, they gave him the Jotunheim clothes, which was a new thing at the time, which was pretty cool. And it's not bad artwork. It's more of, like, a side grade. If you prefer this, you probably like this more. But for me, personally, like, the OG, I gotta go with the Grail outfit for Ike a little bit more. So we're gonna put it in good tier because it's still good art. But it's not my favorite. I do like the original still. All right, we got Tana up next. Another one of the fairy waifus. They just did fairy attire for, like, every girl. Every, like, cute princess girl just ended up in fairy attire. Now, surprisingly, Kaboon did a phenomenal job with the OG Tana art. And I do actually like the OG more. Maybe we should pull that up after we look at this. I just want to show Tana's art. But this is pretty nice, too. I mean, the fairy attire, I guess it suits Tana. She is more of, like, a fanciful... <laughs> like Pegasus Knight type of girl. So I guess that makes sense. Very nice special attack art though. With the pastel colors. Like <laughs> looking like some Easter action going on there. And then the injured artwork. But I, I have to like throw this out here. Y'all always be ragging on Kaboon. Because he just draws Big Booba. But there was a time when Kaboon actually drew something that looked like it was fresh out of Sacred Stones. Her Boobas are regular size. And the rest of it is just so good. It fits Tana so perfectly. It's just amazing. I love the original art that Kaboon did here. So we are going to go ahead and put that in good tier. But it's it's still good. But I like the original more. All right. We got Elincia up next. So Elincia. Oh, th this is another cake queen. They gave her a lot of booty. So here's the neutral artwork. Again, fairy attire for Elincia. I don't know if that would have been my choice for her. I might have went with, like, Embla or Niffle or something. But, okay, fairy attire once again. All right, not bad, though. The artwork is quite good. Special attack looks fine. The pink effect is an interesting choice. And then, of course, <laughs> we got some cheek action going on there. So, where do we put Elincia? Um, This is probably good for me. <laughs> Maybe I should give it bonus points because of the, <laughs> like, the thickness. But, nah, we're going to give her good. Okay, we got Reinhardt up next. Oh, man, this, the Jugdral Drip is just, like, so crazy. Look at this guy. He looks like he is dressed to the nines. Where is he going? Is he going to Valhalla or is he going to the battlefield, man? Probably both. <laughs> so here he is. He is a Thunder God, right? He's literally Thor or the second coming of Thrud. So, yeah, I guess that makes sense. And then the snap here, I love this. And then it just escalates so well with this one. The special attack on this art is so fantastic. Yeah, th this might be a god tier. <laughs> this might be a god tier here. Very good stuff with Reinhardt. Okay, we got Micaiah up next. Let's take a look at Micaiah. Okay, so we got the Hell Attire for Micaiah, which is fine. I mean, she is like a Chaos Mage, I guess you could say, or like a Dark Mage. Which is funny because she uses Light Magic in Radiant Dawn. <laughs> but her affinity is for Darkness, I think. Or like Chaos or whatever. So, yeah, kind of like a, a mix of both, like light and dark in her, which is pretty cool. So, the Hell Attire is a nice choice. All right, Yune looking pretty good there. It's not bad. I I like Micaiah's actual, like, original clothing a little better. But I, I don't think this is bad by any means. So, we'll, we'll definitely toss this into the goods here. All right, not bad from Micaiah. Okay, we have Lilina up next. Yeah, so definitely a glow up. The face looks way better here than it did on the original. But I, I do remember thinking the original had better attacking poses. Let, let's pull that up by for comparison. Yeah, the, the attacking poses on the original I thought were better. But then the neutral one on the resplendent I thought was better. Yeah, so like right there, the pose looks a little nice. Her face looks a little better here. And then the pop of the fire coming out. Yeah, th this was why I like this one so much. And then by comparison, yeah, th this one looks a little more detailed. It's more consistent. Like, the face looks good all throughout, but 
Man, I, I feel like I might like this a little bit more. She also looks angrier <laughs> instead of being like cutesy bootsy. And then finally, we got the injured artwork there. So th this is good. It's probably more of like a side grade. I, I like both the original and the new one. So we'll put that in good. Okay, we have Leaf up next. Let's take a look at Leaf here. So they gave him what? Niffle? Yeah, they gave him Niffle attire. Okay. So here is the neutral art. Definitely a glow up over his original like boring looking art. All right, here's the attacking pose. And we got the special pose there. Yeah, a, l a little generic, not going to lie. It, the flash is nice, but it could have been a little more detailed, maybe. And then the th this one's more detailed. This is like, uh, I, this is what we would have expected from like all the other arts. But okay, so Leaf, we'll put him in good. Th this is good, I would say. Definitely better than his original, I would have to say. Okay, so Nino's up next. Let's take a look at Nino. Oh, th this is much better. Yeah, she she looks more in line with how you you would expect her to look from FE7. Yeah, so the Embla attire makes perfect sense. She is, like, just a little girl that uses tomes, just like Veronica. So they would probably get along pretty well, I would imagine. Nino and Veronica, like, having a tea party or something. So we'll put her in good. Pretty good art from Nino. Okay, we got Krom up next. Krom, Krom's OG art was really bad. So it's nice to get a much needed glow up and boy oh boy did they give this guy a glow up. Look at this cape. This cape is awesome. There's a really nice effect there. Is this Embla or is this Moose Spell? I think this is Moose Spell. Yeah, because he's got the flame effect coming out of the cape. Every single time I'm gonna bring that up. The fire looks so good on the inside of the cape. And then here's the attack art. Wow, look look at the like the cape coming in two directions there. That's so cool. It looks like he has wings almost. Yeah, look at that. That's so good. And then the special attack art right there. And then finally, we got the injured... Again, wow, a really nice effect from the injured art. I love how he, he has, like, molten lava coming out of his arm there while he's getting hit. Yeah, th this is... Aw this might be God's here. Is it God's here or is it awesome tier? Ah, uh, that's... I, I kind of want to put it in God's here, honestly. So we're going to go ahead and do that. Okay, we got Celica up next. I did a, like, waifu tier list the other day, and we had... I, I said Celica looks good in everything, and <laughs> that is very much the case. She looks really nice in the princess fairy attire, so... I have to give it up, even though I think the fairy attire is overdone. I think, like, the pink color scheme really matches with the red hair that she's got. So, it, it does work out really nicely with her, at least. More so than some of the other princesses, I think, so... Yeah, I, I gotta give it up to Celica. She's probably an awesome tier there. It <laughs> just looks good in everything she wears. Alright, we got Merrick up now. Oh, man, Merrick. I was really happy about this art for Merrick because they gave him the hat. <laughs> if you guys remember, like, all the mages in FE1 and 3 had, like, these really pointy hats. So, <laughs> yeah, that, that's the classic mage look we expect. Alright, so, but otherwise, like, other than that, I, I don't think it's, like, too spectacular, though. Which is the bad thing. Oh, this is Nita Valir art. Interesting. So he's from the dwarf country, basically. Or the dwarf land. Interesting. Yeah, not bad, but I... Like I said, the pointy hat was nice to get. But other than that, it's... I feel like they could have did a little better. It's definitely better than the original, though. So we'll put him in good tier. Okay, we got Amelia up next. <laughs> this is a really good one. I love this one. Yeah, so... They gave a lot of energy here from FE8 because her critical hit animation was her swinging her lance and she like, she falls down, she trips and loses her balance and she ends up like stabbing them with the lance. And that's the sort of energy I get here. This axe is way too big for her. So I can imagine her trying to swing it and then like losing her balance and just smashing enemies with the axe. So very awesome touch there. Also, the chain coming out, also very reminiscent of the general attack animation from, like, FE8 and FE7. Basically, just all the Game Boy Advance ones. So, really nice effect there. Really awesome stuff. And the Jotunheim giving a giant attire to, <laughs> like, little Amelia this is a pretty cool touch. So, I do like that quite a bit. We're going to give that awesome tier. Alright, we got Raven up next. Alright, let's take a look at Raven here. 
Okay, so Raven's got the Hell Attire, which is a good fit. Definitely a lot better than his original attire, I would say. Yeah, people were mad because the OG Raven had a sword, except he was an axe unit, so here they, like, gave him the axe, and the axe looks really nice. Yeah, there's a special attack art. Nice pop with the light color scheme, and then he's wearing, like, dark colored clothing. And finally, we got the injured artwork there, so that's pretty solid. That's pretty good. We'll go ahead and give him the good tier. Okay, we got Sonya up next. Sonya from FE2. Echoes, Gaiden, whatever you want to call it. <laughs> Man, that is a hot mama. Oh, boy. We, we need Johnny Bravo to come in here and just be like, whoa, mama. <laughs> you know the way he does it? Man, shout out to Johnny Bravo. That's That show was so... <laughs> they would never be able to show that show today. Like <laughs> People would be getting offended by that. But back in the day, it was I. So here here's a really nice artwork, man. Her OG art is really good, too. So I can go back and forth. I like both of them. <laughs> but that midriff game is, like, on sleek. Jesus. All right, here is the attacking artwork. Then we got the special attack artwork. And finally, the injured artwork. I actually like the pose here. It, like, she's covering the midriff a little. So you can see, like, the details on the rest of the art, which is a pretty nice touch. So, yeah, let's go ahead and put that. We're going to put that in awesome tier, actually. <laughs> Very good artwork from her. All right, we got Tail to you up next. Or Tilt you, <laughs> as I knew her from the OG translation I played. All right, yeah, this is pretty good. This is definitely a glow up. Her... Her original art was very in line with her FE4 original art. So I, I didn't mind it at the time, but like this is definitely more detailed. I do think this suits Teltu pretty well. The Emblian attire, once again, like another little girl mage user. So she could join Veronica and friends at the tea party. All right, there's the special attack art. Really nice pop, actually, with the special attack art. And then the injured art as well. Really nice pose there, so... We might give that awesome. That was actually a really good showing from Tail to you. We're going to put her in awesome. All right, we got Soth up next. <laughs> a character that I don't like whatsoever. Why is he the deuteragonist of Radiant Dawn? Like, that's the one downside to that game. <laughs> I love everything else about it, but why is why do I have to bring this guy by force into the final chapters? <laughs> I would much rather bring Volk than him. All right, but he's got also the Jotunheim attire, it looks like. So... Or is this, is this Needle Valir or is this Jotunheim? I think this is Jotunheim. All right, either way, it's pretty good. Yeah, I I, I mean, I, I can't hate. This is pretty good art. It's very detailed, incredibly detailed. He's got Pesh Cats there as well. He should not have that, by the way. He shouldn't have Pesh Cats. That should be on, on Volk. He should have Base Lard, which they kind of messed up with. Oh my god, yeah, that that's that's nuts. That's a really good effect. The wind, oh my god, yeah, that's... Okay, so, alright, so, alright. I may not like you, but you got good art. <laughs> we gotta toss that in awesome, too. That was really good. Alright, we got Shanna up next. Shanna Banana. Shanna Banana. So, <laughs> Shanna won a voting gauntlet, by the way. <laughs> Out of nowhere, too, but she did manage to win. So, here is the Emblian attire for her. She can join Veronica and the other girls at the tea party, I guess. All right, here is the attacking art. Then we got the special attack art. And then finally, the injured artwork there. It's okay. It's not like breaking any grounds, but it's not bad by any means. So we'll put that in good tier. All right, we got Kakiro up next. The, the melon lord. Melon goddess. God, I can't believe they put watermelon seeds on her boobs. Like, why? Why, why would you do that? <laughs> Unless, like, at least be subtle about it. Come on. All right, but again, she is also wearing the fairy attire. I don't know why fairy attire would be a fit for her. Like, Kakiro and fairy attire, does that match? <laughs> I mean, who am I to judge? I, I'm not a designer. I'm not an artist, so what do I know? But it is very nice. Actually, I do like all of the poses here. I like the color scheme on her outfit. The effect is nice on the special attack. The injured art is pretty good. Yeah, we, we probably got to give that awesomes here, honestly. Yeah, we'll toss her in awesome. Okay, we got Sarah up next. A massive glow up here, by the way. Sarah's original art was just bad. <laughs> but now it's really good. This, this is actually a very fantastic art for her. 
it's a shame they don't want to give refines to those Gen 1 demote staffs. But, I mean, it is what it is. Maybe one day we'll get a resplendent staff and we can actually use this awesome art for her. Yeah, just very good all around. Niffle art seems like a good pick for her. So, I have no complaints whatsoever. Very good, too. Like, the detailing is nice. I might put that in awesome tier, actually. Yeah, Sarah... <laughs> Sarah's a lucky girl. She ended up in awesome tier. She's another character I'm not the biggest fan of. Just like Soth. <laughs> but her art is good. Alright, we got Lobster Man up next. So he's got Asker attire. I would have imagined him wearing something else. Like, Asker seems like the generic, like, Marth, goody two-shoes kind of lord style. I, I wouldn't have expected Ryoma to have that. Maybe give him something tougher, like Moose Spell or whatever. But I guess, okay. Now, the, the lobster armor on the OG art, I actually like a little more. But what can you do? You can't always have the same, like, styles on the same character every single time. So it's okay. It's not bad art by any means. I just like calling him a lobster, so I like the lobster art more. We'll put him in good tier. Okay, we have Naoi up next. Let's see here. Okay, so now we a lot of people were happy about this because she was one of the more popular plus 10 merge projects at the time. So <laughs> getting some extra stats to her was nice. And it is nicer. I, the detailing is much better than the OG art, I would say. Yeah, the poses are also nicer too. They gave her the most spell attack. Oh, nice dragon head coming out there on the fire effect. And we got like flower petals too. That, that's a pretty cool touch. And then the injured art as well. All right, let's get out of there before the FBI shows up. All right, so where do we put now? We'll probably put Naoi in goods here. That was a good showing from her. All right, we got... Oh, th this one was nuts. Ishtar, holy... Ishtar wowed me. The, the amount of glow-up she got compared to the OG art, this was nuts. This was crazy. Th this might actually be the best Ishtar art in the game. Like, better even th than the Ascended one that we got later. So... Yeah, th this might be a god tier candidate right here. Look at this. The, the thunder effect coming out of the book. Oh, my gosh. It, it's so perfect. It's so good. <laughs> Look at this. Yeah, th this is fantastic. This is phenomenal. Really good art. They they made her the beauty that she's supposed to be instead of the <laughs> kawaii uwu ishtar that we got originally. I'm going to toss that in gods here. That's, yeah, that's on another level. Man, well, what is it with these Jugdral characters just dominating, man? It's just... Look at God's here. It's like 50% Jugdral stuff, basically. Okay, we have Est up next. Cartoon character Est. <laughs> Looking like she should be on Cartoon Network as opposed to being on Fire Emblem Heroes. But it is good artwork. Another fairy attire here. I guess it makes more sense for her because she's literally a baby sis. And we got butterflies coming out there on the special attack art. She looks kind of tiny. I mean, she is tiny, right? She's the littlest sister of the batch. But why Why does she look that tiny? I, I don't know. All right, it's good. We'll put her in good tier. Okay, we got Florina up next. A much-needed glow-up again, by the way. Her OG art was pretty bland and boring. So they gave a nice touch here. She, gave, she got the hell attire, and I like the heart shape on her chest there. That The glowing heart shape is a really cool effect. So we're taking the hell attire, but we're making it cute. So th that's not a bad idea. I do like that concept. And then the injured artwork from Florina. Let's go ahead and toss that in the good tier. Pretty nice concept. Not a character that I'm the biggest fan of, but okay. All right, we got Deirdre up next. Shout out to Wylia. Yeah, so Deirdre, I thought Deirdre's original art was pretty solid, but this is pretty good too. Yeah, the fairy attire, once again... <laughs> My god, like, every girl gets the fairy attire. It's kind of overdone, but it, it kind of works with Deirdre, actually, I would say. Because she is a lady of the forest. <laughs> Literally, that's her tag, lady of the forest. So, I mean, it does make sense for her to be the, in the fairy attire, I guess. All right, and then finally, we got the injured artwork there. That, that's pretty good. We'll go ahead and put that in the good tier. Okay, we got Lucas up next. Let's see here. <laughs> There's this one guy that really loves Lucas, by the way. He uh, Back in the day, he used to comment on, like, all my videos just talking about Lucas. Like, oh, is this a good skill to put on my Lucas and, like, stuff like that? <laughs> so, 
I can't remember his name, but if you're watching this Lucas guy, then shout outs to you. So pretty good. I mean, the, honestly, the color scheme didn't really change that much based on his OG art. It's like kind of the same color scheme, but it is a little bit more detailed, I think. Yeah, then we got a wind effect coming out of the lance there. Pretty nice. And then the injured artwork as well. So Lucas, not too shabby. We'll put him in the goods here. We got a lot of stuff in the goods here, by the way. All right, we, we got to get some more stuff in the awesomes here. Let's see. All right, Selif is up next. Selif might be an awesome tier. Yeah, that, that's a very nice pose there. I, I love the color scheme. Once again, the red, white, and blue. <laughs> Except Selif pulls it off better than Marth, I would have to say. All right, yeah, this was also a pretty good glow up from his OG art. All right, there is the attacking artwork. Then we got the special attack artwork. And finally, oh, the injured art is pretty nice too. You get to see like the armor beneath the um, like the garb of the Asker clothing there, which is pretty rare. I don't think we usually see that, like the breastplate part of it. So that, that's a pretty cool touch. Yeah, the pretty good showing from Selif. We're gonna put him in good tier. He's definitely better than Marth, but he's not like awesome tier, I would say. Okay, Ophelia is coming in next. Let's take a look at Ophelia. Okay, so Ophelia doesn't really look that different. It's basically the same outfit for the most part, except with a different color scheme, and now she has fairy wings because, of course, she's a girl. Why wouldn't she be a fairy? <laughs> right, Insis? Is that your logic behind that? All right, here is the attacking art. Oh, we closed that. Here's the special attack art. Nice effect with the butterflies there. Very cute pose as well for Ophelia. And finally, the injured artwork. Okay, yeah, pretty good. Actually, I, I do like the detailing on this. Ophelia's OG art was really good too, but like this is nice. Is this an awesome tier? This might be an awesome tier, actually. Yeah, I think I want to toss that in awesome tier. Very nice detailing with the artwork for her. All right, we got Lachesis up next. Okay, what, what is that face? Oh, boy. <laughs> that, that is some, um, like, Yandere face mode right there. She is going to stab you in your sleep. Okay, so here is... What is this? Hell attire? Yeah, of course she's going to wear hell attire because Eldigan had hell attire too, right? She just loves her big brother more than anybody else. Yeah, even Erica's got some competition there. All right, so here is the attacking artwork. Very nice staff. That, that staff looks awesome. Then we got the special attack artwork there. And finally, the injured artwork. Proportions look a little off here. Like, maybe her head looks a little too big, but I think her head is closer to the frame than the rest of her body. Yeah, they, I mean, we, we, we got to give some love to that face, right? That That's the face of nightmares. Where do we put Lachesis? Let's see here. Do we put her in good tier? I kind of want to. Yeah, we'll put her in good tier. All right, Saber is up next. Let's take a look at Saber. Oh, man. Sa yeah, that. wow, that's... Very casual looking clothes there outside of the fact that he's got shin guards on. I mean this looks pretty casual He's just got like he's got the collar popped. He's got the eye patch. Well, maybe people don't go walking around with eye patches, but Yeah, then he's got the fade. He's got a fresh cut. <laughs> Damn, this dude was just at the barbershop Yeah, Saber's got some drip. Let's let's give it up. Saber's got some drip. Oh That's a really cool pose actually. I, I didn't even remember this one. Yeah, that's that's nice. We don't really get a shot like that too often where the effect is a spiral coming out and it's like warping around his old body. Yeah, that's that's really cool. I like that. Yeah, th this might be an awesome tier. <laughs> All right, congratulations, Saber. You are awesome. Yeah, that's that's really nice. Okay, Faye is up next. The actual Yandere is up next. <laughs> okay, so li literally her whole life is Alm. All right, here is the... What, what is this? Embla or Moose Bell? This is Embla attire. Okay. All right, so... Oh, it, it's interesting to see her making an expression other than just, like, the, the generic one she always makes. So, yeah, that, that's a nice touch there. All right, then we have the attacking artwork. So, she's not smiling, finally. <laughs> a puppy died when Faye stopped smiling. All right, then we got the injured artwork. Yeah, it's pretty nice. It's very simple, but it's very to the point. I do like simplistic stuff like this once in a while when it's like really straightforward, really simple, but that's also the beauty of it. 
So we'll toss her in the goods here. All right, we got Gaius up next. Let's take a look at Gaius. Oh, wow. <laughs> I actually don't think I've ever looked at this one before. Yeah, th this is a really nice one. Damn, his clothes are just so detailed. Wow. Again, moose spell dominance. Look at this. The flame effect on that cape is just so good. Th this is really nice. That's a nice pose. Oh, my God. If I was a Gaius fan, I would have been going nuts over this one. Yeah, th this is really good. The blue effect on the sword with the fire coming out, popping. That's, yeah, that's very good color management. Wow, yeah, and then he's got smoke coming out too, like ash coming out of him when he's injured. Wow, that yeah, that's that's fire, that's flames, that is straight flames. That's going in awesome tier, man. Wow, we got a lot to go. <laughs> this video is already 40 minutes. We're still not, we're like halfway done or something. Bear with me, guys. I mean, we, we're looking at art. We're <laughs> we are refining our tastes here. Okay, so Effie in the Jotunheim clothes, which is a good touch actually for Effie. Very nice color. Actually, I like the color scheme of this more than the pink armor that she has by default. Yeah, this is like Roman Effie. Roman Empire Effie almost. This is awesome. Yeah, this is really good resplendent art. And I did like Hakan's original art too. So it's not like this is um, like a glow up or anything. Both of them are really good. But this is insane. Yeah, that that's an injured pose. That's a really good injured pose. This is... Yeah, God of War Effie. Holy shit. All right, that's going in awesome tier. That's really good. Okay, we have Matthew up next. Let's take a look at Matthew. All right, so Matthew got the Niffle attire, looks like. Okay. All right, his OG art was kind of generic. So let's see if they did better here. All right, there's the attacking pose. Here is the special pose. We got some icicles, snowflakes, I guess, coming out there. And finally, the injured art. Kind of generic again. I'm, I'm actually a little disappointed. The original one was kind of generic. This one's kind of generic too. The color scheme is better though than the original. I, I was never really a fan of the color scheme that Matthew originally had. So where do we... Do we at least put this in good? It's kind of bland though. Yeah, I, I think we'll put it in eh. That, that one didn't really do it for me. Okay, we got Carla up next. Let's take a look at Carla. Oh no, that face. <laughs> you look at the outfit. The outfit is very nice, and then the face just kind of bothers me a little. Especially considering his her OG art was really good. Yeah, no. Oh no. Oh no, that face. No. No, no, no. Yeah, we, we can do better than that face, can't we? Okay, but... I, I really wish I could have sang this one a little bit more praises, but you look at the OG. The OG art is so much better. I have to pull it up just to show. Her outfit was cooler. Like, she's got this really awesome robe on. Like, samurai clothing. The face is excellent. She just she just is really awesome. Unlike how she is in FE7. So, yeah, I, I gotta give it up, man. Th this one might be a glow down once again, just like Lucina. Is this in bads here like Lucina? It might be. I apologize to Carla fans, but that's just how I'm feeling. All right, we got male Corin up next. Let's take a look. Oh, this is really nice. Yeah, the Asker attire actually suits this guy pretty well because the gold armor plate really works with his hair. Like, his hair color really matches. All right, here's the attacking art. And then we got the injure or special attack art. And then we got the injured artwork there. So, pretty good. Definitely, it's probably better overall than his original. So, we'll, we'll give that goods here. Nothing too crazy, but definitely... A worthwhile resplendent art. Alright, Larachelle's up next. <laughs> Another fairy attire here. Come on, does every girl have to be a fairy? Okay, but it is nice. It's a nice glow up. Original Larachelle, there was one thing that bothered me, and it was that she doesn't have a nose. Here, her nose is barely visible, so we're making improvements. Okay, but the pink and green is nice, I guess. The color palette is a good choice. And finally, the injured artwork. Yeah, it's definitely better than the original, I would say, but not by enough for my liking. Larachelle was actually my favorite character in Sacred Stones. So that's unfortunate that we can't get, like, a really, really good Larachelle. Okay, we have Longku up next. So Longku's pretty awesome. Actually, with his Resplendent Alt, he's a very nice merge project with the bonus stats and the flowers and stuff. Really nice attacking art there. 
Oh, wow. Oh, wow. That's... The effect is really nice on that special attack. I, I don't think I've seen this one before. Yeah, because I don't get the Fate Pass every single time. I haven't seen every single one of these. Like, sometimes I'll just look at the base art and then I'll be like, oh, that's okay. That's actually awesome. We're putting him in awesome. All right, we got Ephraim up next. Let's take a look at Ephraim. Okay, what? He doesn't look tough. <laughs> Is it just me? He doesn't look as tough as he usually does. When I think of... Okay, that that's a little tougher. All right. What attire is this? Is this Jotunheim? This is probably Jotunheim. He's got the cape. Siegmund does look pretty nice, though. All right, there's the special attack art. And then finally, the injured artwork. I, I think the OG art was pretty good, too. They definitely held it down with Evrom's OG art. But this, this is nice. It's just not, like, breaking boundaries. So we'll, we'll put him in good tier. Okay, we got Fa up next. <laughs> Kentucky Fa's chicken. All right, so Emblem Attire, or no, this is Moose Spell Attire. Ooh, interesting. Okay. I guess Fa is not going to the tea party with Veronica and friends. Sure. You know, I'm going to say something here. Like, the fire effect that on the cape that I've been, like, just going nuts about on all the male characters, I think it's actually working out pretty well here, too. Yeah, because it kind of looks like butterfly wings almost. Why, why didn't they give her fairy attire, by the way? The, the actual little girl <laughs> is not a fairy, but all these grown women are fairies. Yeah. Okay, sure. Oh, that no, that's nice. That's nice. Yeah, but her actual wings coming out, and then, like I said, the the wing effect on her cape there. Yeah, okay, that, that's pretty good. That's pretty good. I like that. Yeah, we'll put Fa in awesome tier. <laughs> Surprisingly, the one character that should have been a fairy wasn't, though. All right, we got George up next. Let's take a look at George. Okay, so this is definitely better than the original. His face looks... Oh, wow, he looks very sinister there. What is this, Embla attire? I think this is Embla. Yeah, this is Embla attire, okay. I had to make sure there. I had to double check. All right, here's the attacking artwork. Oh, this is a really nice one. The special attack pose there with the light green, like lime green and then the orange pop. Pretty nice touch. And then the injured artwork as well. Pretty good. Yeah, not too shabby at all from George there. I do like this more than his base art, so we'll put that in good tier. Okay, th this is one that kind of bothered me a little. So we got Elise up next. I actually do like Elise's original art more. At least does make sense to be a fairy, though, so I'll at least give him a pass for that one. Yeah, it's very colorful. The colors are vibrant. The colors pop. But I do like the black outfit on Elise a little more. The black and pink. Feels like it suits her a little more. I, I don't know if that's just me. Yeah, and then, the, of course, the special attack artwork. It's pretty good art. I, like, I can't say anything bad about the art. It's just very good all around. I just like the original a little bit more. So we'll put that in good tier, I guess. Yeah, good tier seems fair. Okay, we got Jafar up next. <laughs> the angel of death himself. All right, he looked fine in the original art, but like... Oh, wow, this is way more detailed than that one, though. All right, here's the attacking artwork. <laughs> Showing off some abage for the ladies. Oh, wow. Oh, that's nice. Yeah, that, that's a nice pop. Yeah, we got the fire coming out. He's Moospell, right? No, he's Nita Valir. Interesting. Okay, so we got the blue color coming out of the blades there. Then we got the fire coming out. Yeah, th this is a really nice touch. And then finally, we got the injured art there. We might put this in awesome tier, actually. Yeah, that I was really digging that special attack. All right, let's go ahead and take a look at Mia up next. <laughs> Another character that I don't like that everyone else that played Tellius likes. Okay, so Mia, definitely better. Yeah, the, the color scheme here I like a little bit better. She has just like an orange jumpsuit in the original. And the face was like generic. Th this one looks a little better to me. Having the cape on the side. And th yeah, this is, a, this is classic Mia right here. You got the big sword and the big smile. Yeah, th this is more in line with Mia, I would say. Oh, I like that. The sword is just glowing. It's not really like emitting any like sort of strobe effect or anything. And then we have the flash coming out of the sheath, actually. That's, yeah, that's pretty cool. I like that. And finally, we got the injured artwork from Mia there. So where are we putting her? She's definitely good. 
I might like that more than good. I might actually put that in awesome. Because we don't really see an effect like that too often on the special. All right, we got Odin. Oh, wow. <laughs> God damn. Odin Dark, man. Look at those abs. That's some abage right there. Holy shit. <laughs> okay, yeah. No, a, a lot of people love his resplendent art, and I can see why. This is a really good one. O Odin's also one of the more popular child characters from Awakening. Although this is Fate's version of him, but still, you know what I mean. Really nice po- Oh, God. <laughs> Wow, is this a god's here? This might be a god's here. Holy shit. <laughs> yeah, this, this might be a god's here. I see you, Odin. Okay. Owain, Odin, whatever you want to call him. Let, let's go ahead and bump him up into god's here. Yeah, that, that was fantastic right there. Okay, Lucina's up next. <laughs> so Odin's auntie or... No, his cousin. Odin's cousin right here. Okay, so Brave Lucina, much better attempt than the baby Lucina. <laughs> Yeah, so the butterfly as a shield this time, very detailed, very mature looking as well. I, I love this. I adore this. Could not possibly ask for better art for Lucina. And what I love is that they chose the Asker attire for her, but it's not generic. Like, it actually works. They, they got some gold. The, the gold is really nice. Just A1 right there from Brave Lucina. We're going to put that in... Is that God's here or is that Awesome here? It might be... Ooh... <laughs> Man, this is this is a rough one. I, I'm tempted to put it in God's. I think I'm gonna put it in God's here. It's just like so perfect. We gotta get like baby Lucina fell so that adult Lucina could walk, <laughs> basically, and that's probably how that worked in real life too. Like babies fall so that we can walk when we're adults. All right, we got Gordon up next. <laughs> Man's looking like he's literally from Fire Emblem One there with that face. Okay, so this is what Embla attire. Yeah, Princess Veronica. I guess Gordon's going to the tea party as well. <laughs> okay. Maybe he's going to serve the tea to the ladies. All right, here's the attack. Here's the special attack. And then finally, we got the injured art from Gordon. Let's see here. Let's go ahead and toss Gordon in the good tier. Pretty solid. Nothing too crazy. Nothing too bad. Okay, female Corrin, a long-awaited one. Yeah, she needed an artwork fix bad, and here it is. So it's nice to get that. Again, fairy attire, but I'll give it a pass. <clears throat> yeah, so nice pose. There. Actually, a very cute pose there. Yeah, very subtle effect with the water splashes coming out of the Dragonstone, but it actually works really well. I like this quite a bit. And then the injured art, we're getting close to a butt shot. <laughs> and we got the feet there, of course. I mean, of course, right? It's Corrin. They got to do all of that. That was really good, though. That's that's probably going in awesome tier, honestly. That was a very nice one. Okay, we got Brave Roy up next. <laughs> My god, this video is almost an hour long. We, we, we still got, like, so many more to go. I'm going to try to speed run the last couple, guys, so bear with me here. The Obsidian Durandal looks really awesome. I remember loving this when I saw this. <laughs> and again, Roy is very tiny compared to the sword, so... Yeah, look, look at that. That sword is way too big for him. <laughs> but that's why we loved it. And then this, too. Look at the fire coming out of there. Yeah, th this is awesome. This is epic. This is a really good one. We're putting that in awesome tier. All right, we got innies up next. <laughs> Don't mind me. We're going to speed run here. So, actually, way better. Way more detailed, too. This looks like... What, what is this? Asker attire? Yeah, this is Asker attire. Okay. Look at really bougie, too. Like, most of the Asker ones we've seen were kind of generic, but not this one. He's got, like, the gold... Pl oh, wow. wow! That's really nice. He's got, like, gold dust coming out. Wow, that's... No, this is rad. That's really good. I don't think I've ever looked at this one. That's my first time seeing that. That's an awesome tier. That might even be a god tier, honestly. That's really nice. I'm gonna put it in god tier. That was really good. Okay, we got Brave Lynn up next. Let's take a look here. Now, I actually do like the OG Brave Lynn a little bit more. I do have this one, and I'm not the craziest fan about this one, but it is what it is. It's not bad by any means. It's really good. Actually, it's pretty awesome, in fact. It's just that I do have a preference for the original art. It's We've been playing this game since day one, so or I have at least. So I like The original art from her is just burnt into my retina. Because I've been seeing... You see her so often in the old days that... You just never forget it. 
Okay, so fairy Pala. I don't know why Pala needed to be a fairy, but okay. All right, she's got an interesting attack there. The pink and the green doesn't pop as much as her as it did on some of the other ones, though. Then we got some butterflies coming out. And then finally, the injured art. We're going to toss that in good tier. Nothing too crazy, but nothing too bad either. All right, we got a Versa up next. I actually really like the, like, petal effect. Like, the rose petal effect was really cool. This is another fairy attire. Come on. Like, wh what about a Versa would make you think fairy? She is, like, the most dark character possible. Instead, we're just going for fairy attire. But, the like, the flower petals coming out of the neck there, the back of the neck. This is a really good one. I do love this one. Yeah, and then the special attack art is really nice, too. And then finally, the injured art. Yeah, I have nothing but good things to say about this one, so we'll put that in awesome tier. All right, we got Cecilia up next. We got Teacher there. Another fa Oh, my God, man. I'm. You see what I mean? Like, all these fairy attires, it's so overdone. Can we not get, like, a bajillion fairy attires, please? All right, the wings are more prominent here. It looks like she's actually got butterfly wings there on the attack art. And here's the special attack art. She is attacking with butterflies now. She didn't have butterflies on her shoes. <laughs> okay. Just butterflies everywhere. <laughs> butterflies. Butterflies everywhere. And then finally, the injured artwork there. We're going to give that good tier. I should make a separate tier called just fairy tier and put, like, all the fairies in there. All right, we got Surter up next. Yeah, Sir, his original art was really good, but, I mean, this is good, too. This is awesome, actually. Yeah, he's got the Hell attire, so a mix of Moose Spell and Hell, because, of course, he's from Hell, or he's from Moose Spell originally. <laughs> but then we killed him and sent him to Hell, so now this is what he's wearing down there, I guess. Yeah, this is awesome. This is epic. All this guy needs is a refill. Look how good that is. That's really good. That's awesome. This might even be a god. Yeah, th this might be a god tier. Holy shit. Yeah, that, that's really good. That's that's fantastic. Gotta give it up. If only Insys would give it up to him and give him a refine, but... Yeah, that was phenomenal. Okay, we got Nini up next. So, Ninian. Oh, this is nice. Yeah, her original art wasn't bad, but like I feel like this is a little bit more... It's a little more mature. The other one was kind of like cutesy wootsy. <laughs> this one, yeah, like the, the detailing on the face is way better for sure. Of course, she gets Niffle attire. She's literally an ice dragon, so that makes sense. And then the snowflake design and the injured one. Yeah, this, this is a pretty good touch. I do like this. Definitely a glow up there. We're going to give her a good tier. Maybe I should give her like awesome tier, but it, it was I, I, I liked it, but I didn't like it that much. Okay, Sigurd is up next. Oh my god, this Jugdral Drip. I need a separate tier for the Jugdral men as well. Because, like, Jugdral Drip is just so prominent. <laughs> Look how good this looks. This is insane. By the way, I recently plus 10 this guy from Pity Breaks. Because I hit red all the time on the arena banner. On the arena ticket banner. And I just, I pulled him, like, three times in a row. Three weeks I got this guy on the tickets. Because I always hit red. And I ended up getting him a plus 10 just off of pity, pity Breaks. I never once chased merges on this Sigurd. So, like, we're tossing him in gods here along with the other Jugdral men. That's where he belongs. All right, we got Robin over here. Okay, so Robin definitely pulling it off a little better than the male Robin, I would say. Yeah, she's got the same glow. She's got, like, pretty much the same color palette. Hell attire, once again, almost the exact same. She does have more of a glow up than the GHB art, though. And I think this was our first Grand Hero Battle Resplendent as well. So, yeah, that's definitely good. We might even be able to put her in awesome tier. Because I, I do like her more than the male one. Yeah, I guess we could put her in awesome. Why not? All right, we got Nina up next. We got only a couple more. We're almost done. <laughs> Bear with me, guys. This was a long one. Okay, so another fairy art, of course, fairy artwork for the girl. Yeah, big surprise. But this is very detailed, though. This is actually very detailed. I liked her original art, too, but, I mean, this is nice. This is really good. It has a very fanciful, like, theme, too. I, the effect on the bow, like, the way her bow is designed, it looks like it's straight out of a fantasy novel or whatever. Like, this is something I would see in Spyro the Dragon, this bow that she's got. 
All right, here's the special attack art, and then finally the injure. I actually really like this. I might, I might put that in awesome tier there. Yeah, that, that was a really good showing. All right, Lucius is up next. So he got the, what is this, Moose Spell or Embla Attire? He's Embla Attire, okay. No, he's Moose Spell. He is Moose Spell, okay. All right, for the first time, the flame effect on the cape isn't really as banging as it was on some of the other ones. No fire coming out either. Oh, man, that's Demote Staff Energy, unfortunately. It is better than the original, but it's... I wish it was a little better, I'm going to be honest. I, I might put that in eh tier. Yeah, so honestly, there weren't too many that I didn't like. Everything, Anything in good tier, I would say, is good. Like, literally, it's good. It's pretty awesome. And then, of course, we have some tiers higher than that. But they, for the most part, these resplendent alts have been a hit. I didn't mean to open a new tab, but... Okay, Nephany's up next. Nephany, best girl from Tellius, as many people would say. Can't wait for Heather to get added to the game so we can ship them finally. All right, here's the attacking artwork. <laughs> Nephany can join Effie on the front lines of that Roman Empire thing, man. This is awesome. The The Roman Empire look... What is this, Jotunheim? Yeah, we need more... Can we get more girls from Jotunheim, please? <laughs> with that Roman aesthetic, with the Roman Empire, like color scheme, the shield, and the lance and stuff. This is awesome. Yeah, this is definitely going in awesome tier. That was a very good showing from Nephany. That might even be a god. Where did I put, um... Where did I put Effie? Okay, we had her in Awesome. All right, we'll keep Nephany in Awesome with her. Okay, Morgan is up next, and then we got two more, and we're out of here. Okay, so another Moose Spell attire. This time, we got the prominency of the flame on the cape there. Here's the attacking artwork. His Oh, he's got the Grima symbol on the book, too. That's nice. Yeah, this is a nice one. The special attack with the pop of the fire and the purples there. Really good. That's definitely much better than his OG art. His OG art was kind of like trash. Not really trash, but just like super generic. I'm going to give that awesome. Okay, then we have Ursula, and then finally we got Rajat. So, Ursula. Oh, wow, that's... <laughs> Fairy attire again, big surprise. But, no, th this might be the first time I've seen this one, actually. This is really nice. Yeah, I do like this. I like the color scheme. I like the outfit outside of the fairy wings. I like this too. Wow, she's got like a ball of energy there. She's charging up a spirit bomb. Okay. All right, Ursula. And then we got the back shot too. Wow. Yeah, that that's an awesome tier. That's going an awesome tier. I was not expecting that one to be that good. Okay, and then finally we have Rajat and then we're out of here. All right, sorry guys, this video went for way longer than I thought, but... Okay, we have fair, fairy attire again. Of course, back-to-back -back fairy attire. Why not? All right, but Rajat is basically just Tharja, except with her, her name is in reverse. And she's also the Black Magician, so the UEO text actually does fit with this one. It's pretty good, though. It's not bad. Got a lot of booba action there. Then we got the special attack art. I do believe her tome was like a green wind tome or something. It's effective against calves. I do remember that. And then the book's getting ripped up. We got pages coming out. <laughs> Some more booba action there. Yeah, this is okay. This uh, It's not like blowing me away or anything. I'll put that in good tier. And that is going to wrap us up for the Resplendent Art tier list, guys. So let me know your thoughts in the comment section down below. God tier seemed pretty obvious to me. Like, these ones really blew me away. Awesome tier is still really awesome, as you should see by the name. Good tier is good. Like, I I'm not saying anything here is bad or anything. Maybe it could have been slightly better. Like, a better pose or a better color palette would have been enough to push these guys into awesome tier. And then, add tier is like, I... It's good, but it's not, like, as good as I would have hoped. And then bad. I think these two, we can just say for sure, are bad. Carla's face needed to be better. And Lucina needed to be, like, 10 years older or, like, 20 years older or something. So that's going to wrap us up for this video, guys. Hope you all enjoyed this massive <laughs> embark that we went on here. This massive journey through Resplendent Artworks. So this is your boy, Tacho, signing out. Thanks so much for watching if you actually did watch. And I will catch you guys again on the flip side.